What's up everyone, Bo here. I make videos and put them on YouTube. And today, I am answering a suggestion by Duramaniac to listen to Bellacore. Remnants is gonna be the song. I hope I said the band name right. You'll have to let me know. And we're actually gonna be taking a look at the lyric video, which I don't do too often, so it'll be nice to have the lyrics in front of me on this one. And uh, I think it's time to equip ourselves and give this thing a listen, right? This has been voted up by uh, quite a few people. Let's go.
that to end. I'm very melodic. I was promised that uh, these guys are extremely melodic and I wasn't let down. You didn't disappoint. My viewers or the band it exceeded my expectations. Awesome. Uh, these guys are very intelligent when it comes to uh, gain control, distortions, things like that. Uh, the mix is great. Uh, you can hear everybody. Everybody is equally prominent in the band. There's not one person that out, outshines another as far as mixing goes. And I really appreciate that. It feels like everything was just a, uh, a driving force in the band. There wasn't one thing or the other that was uh, like, oh man, he's a really good guitarist. It was just the band as a unit uh, works extremely well together. And that's kind of the key of melodic metal is you have to work great together or it's going to fall apart, right? It makes sense. Uh, you know, ha half of the band is stuck doing harmonies together. The other half is holding down rhythm section and then, you know, a guy singing. Uh, and I, I think they have a keyboardist, right? Maybe. I think I heard some keys in there. Or maybe they pipe in sounds or something. First thing that really went through my head is... Um, you know, not too long ago, we listened to some Opeth, Black Rose Immortal, and I heard some notes of that in there, just a little undercurrent of Opeth, uh, some of their older writing. Uh, let me know, comment, and tell me if, if I'm wrong or if you heard the same thing, if our ears uh, listen alike. And the second thing I thought of is uh, these guys are writing melodies that are just as memorable as, um, like, Fade to Black, Metallica especially like the last part where Kirk Hammett's doing the solo and the melody comes in that James Hetfield's playing underneath it. Uh, everything that these guys have written in this song, at least, is just as memorable as that part of that legendary song. So that is a very, very uh, high caliber uh, song that we're listening to. It's, uh, I, 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 give that, I give that a an A+. Plus. I love that. Awesome. Um, the vocals, I thought that it served the song. Uh, I'd be curious to see if he does anything a little bit more dynamic with his vocals. Uh, I like them. I didn't dislike them, but I'd, I'd be curious to see if he does anything else um, as far as change the range of his scream or uh, do these guys sing? If not, that's cool. Uh, what did you guys think about this song? What are your experiences with this band? Um, it looks like a lot of you were inspired uh, with your personal bands by this band. I dig it. Uh, question for you guys. Are these guys, <laughs> maybe it's just my ear, are these guys gamers? Because I heard video game stuff in there. I don't know. Could just be the way that the melodies were weaving together, but I felt like I was playing a Mega Man level or something, right? Uh, just totally awesome. Anyway, thank you so much, Dermaniac, and the guys that upvoted that for showing me this. Continue to make those suggestions. And, uh... Yeah, thank you very much. Peace out, guys. Bye.